Okay, so welcome to short rows. So if you just work from your worksheets and use the videos as a guide. So first of all what we're going to do is we're going to make a wrap. So when your pattern says to you uh, knit to five stitches from the end of the row, wrap and turn. This is what they're talking about. So I've got five stitches left on my left hand needle and I'm going to wrap the next stitch. So I bring my yarn to the front between the needle tips. Then I slip the next stitch from the left hand needle just straight. I take my yarn back between the needle tips and I slip that stitch back to the left hand needle. So it's got a nice little wrap around the neck of the stitch. Then I just turn my work and I do whatever the pattern tells me to do next, which in this case is purl to the last five until there are five stitches remaining. Okay, and the same thing. Take the arm back, slip the stitch, take the arm forward, slip the stitch and turn. Now I'm not going to show you how to knit a wrap in the most simple form. You can find that all over YouTube and as you've already seen it's not a it's not a method that you'd really like to use because it does leave some horizontal bars and that kind of thing. So we're going to work the wrap untwisted. So we knit back to our wrap so there we are with the oh dear okay there we are with our gap and what we're going to do now is we're going to slip the wrapped stitch to the right hand needle we're just going to slip it straight and then we're going to use the tip of the left hand needle to pick up the wrap and pop it right over the top of the wrapped stitch. Now we slip the wrapped stitch back to the left hand needle and before we slip the wrap we're going to slip the tip of the left hand needle into the front of the stitch from the left so it will twist as we move it over to the left hand needle. Okay, so it's all sitting nice and tidy now. And then we just knit the two together. And knit to the end of the row. So it's all nice and tidy. We turn and I'm going to purl all the way back to that wrapped stitch and just ignore that pinking in the background. Oops, a daisy. Got a little bit of a messy one there. Okay. Ignore the clinking, it's the cables of my needles hitting the tripod. Okay, so there we have that purl wrap. So what we're going to do is slip the wrapped stitch straight across to our right hand needle. We're going to use the tip of the left needle to pick up the wrap, slip it onto the right needle and lift it over the wrapped stitch. Slip both stitches straight back to the left hand needle and then we're going to purl them through the back loop. So that's that oh, strange little manoeuvre. Making sure that you pick up both of the loops. Then we're just going to purl it. Okay. And purl to the end. That's it. Once again. Nice and tidy. So you've worked to wrap. And you've also untwisted a wrap. 